I'm Monique Woodward, Director of Wawa Wa Architecture and National Emerging Architect Prize winner and co-curator of the 2019 Australian Institute of Architects National Conference called Collective Agency. That's why we're here. <laughs> On the day that I got asked to be on the committee, I saw this tweet from a friend of mine. Oh, it's going to be like rapid fire. Yeah. It was along the lines of, if you know the language around oppression and gender and equity and diversity, the most destructive behaviour of our times is knowing those things and then not making space for others or giving a platform. It sort of struck me as this crazy coincidence that actually having been given a platform, what should we do with it? Yeah, shout out to my work family, the Wawa work family because they basically supported um, and carried me to the conference. The last six months, we're coming in with you know, fresh perspectives, so it's going to be completely different to anything that's ever happened before, and it's going to be about big ideas, and it's not going to be about pretty images or Instagram eye candy. It is about what are the new territories for architecture, who should be given a platform uh, and what does advocacy look like within a regenerative and disruptive economy are the things that we're asking for this conference. Now, with over a thousand people it's a perfect opportunity to have these conversations. In a way We've put the industry on notice. You can choose to either challenge or uphold the status quo. Our work is in the public realm and so we're the defenders of the public interface. Um, we're used to actually fighting for that and so it's about fighting for you know, a larger gamut of other things. On Twitter it's all like, you know, a new generation's taken over. Like, good yeah, stuff. Good. So like, yeah, like, that's just yeah, about time. Time. This is not going to be about detail. Uh, the last session of today is Shelley Penn doing a call to action that actually, you know, for the demographic who wanted to see the pretty details, basically to say you have the most agency of all of us and, you know, we're asking people to make a pledge. Know whose country you're on. Educate yourself with Indigenous perspectives. Help an emerging practice or start a reconciliation action plan or yeah. Hire a female. <laughs> <laughs> We're lost. Awesome. Back entrance, door 10. not sure if you got a chance to read those, read those questions I sent you last night. We were met with and still are met with lots of people who are saying, too ambitious, just come, come back to showing us drawings and sections, etc. It's around actionable takeaways and um, personal stories. We started off the conference um, with a tearjerker, <laughs> personal story not from Stephen. Not deliberately, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was beautiful. You know, I spoke about my grandma. She's, until recently, was the president of the War Widows Association. You know, her brother was nominated for a Nobel Prize um, for aerospace. Um, My grandparents were illiterate. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Just fine. You know, and, but it was it was amazing because we sort of said, well, you know, it's this conference is the way it is because of our similarities, but because of our differences as well. And with that comes excellence. Sorry to be late. No, no, no. <laughs> Are we going that way? Stephen, it's a real pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Terrific to have this on the agenda. Yeah, thank you. Really true. Yeah. Very much. Great people. Great people. As a kid, my grandfather would take my cousin and I on long walks. On our regular trail was a big concrete water tank. <laughs> Great to have you here. He encouraged us to climb to the top and jump off. He wanted his granddaughters to be as strong as the boys. He wanted us to be fearless. My grandmother wanted me to have more front than Maya. Such a wonderfully old Melbourne saying and so fabulously architectural. More gumption than a Burke Street facade. 
The further I get into my career, the more I realise to get things done, she was right. The final session is called Action. We can't leave it to everyone else. We have to be the ones who step up in whatever way we're able to. Being generous, paying it forward, making space for others are all part of becoming a good leader. I'm so privileged to operate in a time where I believe our industry can make meaningful change. For broader diversity, new kinds of leaders, more perspectives and louder voices. For us, this conference isn't a call to action. It's a response to a call that hasn't been answered. You can't unhear this. You can't walk away and think business as usual is okay.